Welcome to the Bryce Fastener Pipeline Security Wellhead Nut. This is the parts on paper and these are the parts in reality. This is a regular 2H nut with PTFE coating and this is our finished PTF coated pipeline nut. Uh, let me see if we can get up real close to that. You can see that it's got the Teflon coating on the outside. It looks like it has something with three holes in the top but the secret sauce is inside. That's where the keyed fastener is. Here you can see that there's a keyed nut on the inside. It actually is meant so that, it, that the shroud will spin around it. It's, it's not connected. It does spin. And so we just have to get that tightened down and then you have a shroud and you have a top cap uh, to, to finish your, product, your, your protection. When we were tasked with making this, this is what we were sent. And here you see a photo of typical uses for uh, wellhead pipeline nuts. Um, you can see there's one for the, uh, the valve, and then you can see there's one for the flange right here. And, the flange, and it goes all the way through to the bottom. And then there's another one for the flange as well. It goes all the way through. We were told the problem with these is that they're just too easy to compromise. As you can see, they have a puzzle, which is, should be uh, a sophisticated reason to stop theft, but it really was not. They were being compromised and billions of dollars were being lost because those nuts did not work. So they wanted something that had much more security and that's what we were tasked to create. Though some of the 2H nuts you use are three quarters, most of them are much bigger than that. And as you can see, our pipeline nut uh, range goes from small to very big, all the way up to two inches in diameter. So if you have a two inch nut, we can make a pipeline nut for that. If you have a three quarter or even a five eighths, we can make a pipeline nut for that. The real brilliance of this pipeline nut is it happens to use the exact same driver to take off the nut as to put on the new one. So here's a typical installation of a pipeline nut. Here's the socket that would take it off and here's the socket that would put on the exact same uh, nut as well. Same tools for everything. Now a properly installed 2H nut is supposed to have four threads above the top of the nut. That's what the industry standard is, industry spec. So you should be seeing four threads above the nut that you're going to take off. Here we're going to remove the old nut and put on the new. Okay, we're taking off the old nut. We're going to notice that, that the new nut is the exact same height as that stud. See, you see the shroud comes right to the top of it. And all you have to do is by hand put in and start the new socket nut. In this case you spin the socket around until it drops into the socket. You notice it drops in with a zero tolerance fit. Zero tolerance. Matter of fact, it'll really stick to the nut if you try it hard enough. Now the industry specification for a PTFE nut in this particular size is 118 foot-pounds or 160 newton meters. You will see here that we are tightening it to that exact same spec. Some were a little bit surprised that those nuts would take the exact same torque, but they do and actually go way above it, by the way. Next is the security cap. It's got those three holes in it, okay, and it has a duplicitous feature. It adds extra threads to the nut, so there's extra strength, but it also keeps the socket nut a lot cleaner on the inside so debris don't build up. Okay, but notice how everything comes right to the top. Then you're supposed to use a different driver bit, one that has pins in it, and you're going to use a different torque. You will notice if you see our torque, it was 118 foot-pounds for, for, the, for the main nut, but this one is only 20. So you have to be paying attention that you use a much less torque when you're putting on the, the nut with pins. Now you can see we actually have torque requirements for the Bryce Security Pipeline nut for PTFE applications, it, written in both uh, newton meters and foot pounds. And so each one has a different torque. In this particular case, three quarter, like we said, was 118, which, we, which you saw we did. And then the, uh, the security cap has got a 20 foot pounds or 27 newton meters, which we are going to do right now. All right, not much, not much torque there, but it really does its job. It's all that's needed. By the way, you'll notice that we have a duplicitous set of pins for the driver bit. The driver bit is, we knew full well that sooner or later somebody was going to torque that too high and break off the pins. 
So we gave you an extra set of pins, but you also have the ability to knock the pins that are broken off and maybe put in a, a nail or something else just out in the field. You may be a long ways from home and there's a way to, to, way to solve the problem by adding extra pins. Uh, those pins go all the way through. They're not welded in. You just have to put some other ones in to replace them. We did have a situation where somebody was con concerned about clearance because in some of these uh, wellhead situations, uh, you don't have much clearance. So we actually have a, a, a printout that tells you what kind of clearance you have. And so obviously you, you, you have to have at least that in order to be able to put the nut in place. As you can see, it'll roll in there. And uh, you may want to put the nut someplace where you don't have any clearance issues. I uh, just want to let you know that we do indeed have patents on this product, both in the United States and in Europe, and uh, it was not easy, not hard to get. As you know, some of your applications are going to be put on pressure flanges, and we recommend that you put the pipeline nut not on the top where somebody can easily get a saw on it. You want to put it in an obscure place, like at the bottom there um, and, and on, on the side. But just in case you're still concerned, we have come up with a solution to solve that gap problem. And this is what we call the Bryce Security Pipeline Belt. As you can see right here, it's a belt that goes all the way around the outside of those flanges. And uh, it's a two-piece part. It uses our Bryce Security Fasteners that are so far almost impossible to get out if you don't have the key. And uh, you simply install that. It does have a little flange right here that keeps the part in the gap. It's, it's sized perfectly so it'll go into the flange. And we also happen to have, in case your flange has gotten bigger than it should, we also have an add-on piece. You can make your flange, uh, you know, where you have extra gaps. We can also put that extra gap in that area there too to keep the, the, the pipeline up from being slipped off. As you can see, we have the ability to make just about any size flange that you might have. We go from two and a sixteenth all the way up to uh, 21 and a quarter. But if you've got a separate flange, we'll make it perfectly fit that as well. So just to review, we have um, five pieces that go with every pipeline nut. It's really easy to install. It doesn't take any extra tools. We have been asked, though, about whether or not you can use an impact uh, wrench with a, with a um, uh, uh, with a sledgehammer. So you'll notice that when this socket goes in there. It is actually 100% stick fit. You can see that. He can pick up the nut with it. It's 100% stick fit. It probably will work, but I cannot guarantee it. As you can see, the wall thickness is not very great. So I believe it's going to work, but I would suggest you rather use a hydraulic wrench for those bigger sizes rather than go ahead and use that impact uh, gun with a sledgehammer. Hopefully we've explained it well enough and you can figure out that it's not that hard to use and hopefully you'll see that it, it, it turns out to be one of the better security devices you've had out in the field.